Welcome to Barebones Camera, where we share the ins and outs of cinematography, breaking down real setups and taking you behind the scenes on professional film shoots. Today's show is proudly sponsored by Kinefinity. In this and the next episodes, we'll check out the on-set life of key members of a professional production crew. Today, we're going to look over the shoulder of the gaffer and his assistant, as they take on the lighting of a low-budget four-day shoot, a pilot for a cinematic sketch comedy series. This is Tim and his assistant Brayden, who did the lighting on our shoot. Tim and Brayden are true professionals. You can tell because of their precision and hard work. They don't leave anything to chance when it comes to their lighting on set. Lighting in film is all about control. Every light is placed in exactly the right position to tell the story, based on extensive pre-production work and collaboration with the cinematographer. The amount of intensity is precisely controlled with light meters and exposure tools. The lighting team always has an eye on how soft the light is, using tools like diffusion, frames, butterflies, soft boxes and bounces. And just as importantly, they carefully shape the light so that it only falls where they intend it instead of spilling on backgrounds. For this they use tools like flags, black foil, molten cloth and fabric grids, also known as acrates. And finally, on a shoot like this with large sets and many actors, they need large lights to cover big spaces. This is why big HMI lights will be an essential part of film production for a long time to come. Now, please join us to visit some of the sets of this project to see Tim and Braden at their work. In this first example, we were shooting in the cellar of an old Berliner brewery with brick walls and 6 meter high ceilings. The location was chosen to give the feeling of ancient Roman times, entirely lit by torches and candles. While they did use some actual torches and candles, this was augmented by LED and tungsten lighting. An ambient fill light from above came from a 200 watt LED light with a large softbox mounted to fixtures on the ceiling and a trio of 300 watt tungsten lights were used for the key light. To emulate the flickering of actual fire, they used the flicker box with the tungsten lights. Though many modern film LED lights have a firelight effect built in, if you ask the professionals, the light coming from these RE 300 watt Fresnels connected to the flicker box is the closest to actual fire. Tim and Braden set up the three RE Fresnels to bounce over styrofoam bounce board, sometimes filtered through CTO warming gel. By bouncing the light from the three spotlights, you get a softer light with varying directions, which, once it falls on the walls or the actors, looks much more like actual fire. Here are some of the results from this particular shooting day. Next, let's go on another set. This time we were shooting in an old car shop here in Berlin Friedrichshain. The challenge here was finding the right spots for placing the lights in this richly detailed location to make the talents and the location itself get the best results. Once again, the 200 watt LED light with a large softbox and accrate was mounted from above the scene, this time to serve as main key light. Some flexible LEDs, LED panels and LED fresnels were used as fill lights, backlights and background lights. These were set up with a complex configuration of flags, diffusion and bounces to achieve the desired results. In this location there was a window to the outdoors, where the sun would shine precisely from 4pm to 5pm. Natural daylight is something a production crew must be aware of, so they can plan their production schedule to benefit from this, instead of being a headache during production. Here the team could plan for it and use it as an additional subtle background light. Here's a practical example of the lighting setups on this shoot day. In this scene, the actress comes into frame from the left and takes a seat where the dialogue is taking place. Here is a top-down view of our scene. We have a 200 watt LED with a softbox as our main key light mounted above the table and angled to reach her face. A 120 watt LED to the subject's left with a large diffusion frame in front to give some fill light and eye light to the subject's face an 80 watt flexible LED panel with softbox mounted above the window to serve as a cooler backlight 
motivated by the window. In the beginning of the shot, when the actress comes into the frame, the camera pans along the wall, which is lit by another 120 watt LED, also with a diffuser, to add some shape to the wall. Finally, the sun is shining through the window onto the red locker, adding some highlight to the background. And now that we are all set, quiet on set, roll camera and action! That's it for our video today. Keep an eye out for more on this shoot in this video series. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy shooting!